Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be an update on the abysmal 90th day of the MLB lockout, where the MLB came back with almost a slap in the face final offer to the players that they're expected to vote down, where Alex Wood also talked about how the MLB was kind of spewing to the media falseness about how close the deal was, so it seemed like it was more on the players in the end that weren't able to get the deal done, where, as Jeff Passan, um, tweeted underneath um his thread of everything uh he basically just said let me pull it up here he said you all should know by now um when it comes to that which i think is him alluding to you all should know by now it's the league just toying with the players so to speak um i mean it just hasn't this whole lockout uh just has been from stuff i've listened to from both sides via MLB Network and also via listening to a bunch of different pockets of players on, it seemed like the PA was coming to the table a lot more. That That's just what it seemed like than the the uh, league was. And the league was kind of trying to make them negotiate against themselves, essentially. So when I saw an MLB spokesman earlier say, oh, this is going to be our best offer, it kind of went in and out another ear because it doesn't matter what they say at this point because the players – to put it in perspective for people, the players... Oh, please continue to subscribe up above or down below to keep the channel growing to 215 by March 15th. But the players in the MLB, it takes... The, you can manipulate, and even players, they were talking about it, Ian Happ was talking about it when he was in the meeting, players that are stars now had multitudes of stories about being manipulated early in their careers. So you have that player manipulation in the MLB. They got to get rid of that. Uh, you also have the fact that they want a pre-arbitration pool with the players of $85 million to help get players more money. And to put that in perspective, no wonder MLB players want a lot more money when they first come to the league because minor leaguers get paid 8000 to about fourteen k per year. Usually the poverty line is like twelve eight something So you're not even always over the poverty line. If you're in hockey, you're well over the poverty line. If you're in G League, you're well over the poverty line. If you're in the um, <clears throat> practice squad, you're the best over the poverty line, if I'm not mistaken, of the NFL. So to put that in perspective, baseball is the worst with it. And the other way to also put it is MLB would still have the, the lowest minimum salary in all four major sports with this new proposal. And all those other leagues have team spending cap requirements, where technically baseball doesn't if you're willing to go over the tax. So that still is not a good look um, for Major League Baseball. And Jeff Passan reported officially as the CBT threshold from the MLBPAs were at 238, 244, 250, 256, and 263. And then for the MLB, they never changed it from what they initially had in their threshold. Basically, again, this is to me a slap in the face offer by them, 220, 222, 22, 24, 230. So that's not close at all. Uh, a five million increase on pre R bonus pool from 25 to 30 million. They wanted $85 million with $5 million increases, so that's not remotely close. An increase of minimums from six seventy five to seven k, moving up ten k a year. This is the only thing that was kind of close. Minimums at seven hundred twenty five k from the MLBPA, going up twenty k a year. So that one was remotely close, but still not that close. That's only close just because of how far everything else is. It seems closer in the grand um, in the grand scheme of things. But when it goes to this whole thing, I think how Jeff has put it, you should all know by now, the league is trying to, again, get the most out of it because also in the MLB, for people that don't know, the owners make the most of the revenue share of baseball, not the players, where the players, again, also make the least out of every sport at the minor league level on top of not making the most revenue share. And I don't think they make any of the share in the postseason, if I'm not mistaken. So going to 12 teams won't help them at all other than just getting postseason chances for a couple other guys. It, it won't help them from an economic standpoint as much as people think other than they will get postseason game checks. But in terms of the revenue, I'm pretty sure all of that goes to Major League Baseball in the postseason, and I doubt that's going to be changed in the CBA. So um, it seems like they're still trying to keep a majority of the stuff on their end while the players are saying baseball is a sport that doesn't have a technical threshold in conclusion uh, here of being capped out as long as you go over the luxury tax and we're still the lowest average salary at the minimum level and that just doesn't really make much sense 
in the end, when you look at things in the whole grand scheme, that's why baseball is offered in the end. I doubt it's going to be um, accepted. I would be very surprised if it is accepted. And Alex Wood, basically, um, obviously a pitcher, Alex Wood, uh, basically put it very well. Where the last 24 hours, he, he said, I'd say there was cautious optimism on the player side because the owners were actually at the table negotiating with us for the deal. What we're asking is more than fair. If there's no deal, the optimism from the MLB was purely a PR illusion to make it look like they tried. Which, at this point, I don't think many fans are going to get fooled by that PR illusion because this has been in most people's eyes, even when you look at polls, especially because uh, social media can be toxic at times and it can also be great at times because it's allowed the players to be more vocal and be in our face when the owners have barely complimented or commented on it. Excuse me. So... I think that's why people are more in the player's favor after today. I think you should still be because that's a slap in the face offer. If you think they should accept that offer, then you don't know the way that Major League Baseball has been for years economically. It's been the worst for their players compared to any other sport. So if that, that they just business-wise from the player's side should not accept that offer. That offer is a slap in the face. But this has been a quick video, well, a quick-ish video, six-something minutes on the MLB lockout. I haven't been doing many videos on this because I like doing videos on more fun things to do. This is not one of those things. But I figured I would put something out there on it now since it seems like the lockout's going to continue to go on. Bob Nightingale also reported that they are going to have a facility for players to work out in um, while the lockout goes on that he said it seems like more players, I can't remember the exact tree, but basically it seems like more players will head down there since it doesn't seem like the lockout's going to be ending. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the first video in a while on Major League Baseball. As we check in on the MLB lockout, as they offered a pretty slap-in-the-face offer uh, to the players uh, in, the don in the donning hour um, when they put the deadline at 5 p.m. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a good day.